all, you know, trying to match your struggle or match your learning or match your this. And that's why it's important for you to be real with it. You know, when you're real with it and really take people, because I learn with my people. I learn together with people. I don't just sit and hide and study by myself. Or, you know, I, I take shots from people all the time to do this on the Internet, but I have no ill feelings towards it. We try to help them as much as we can by putting out as much information as we can so even their spirit can grow. You get what I'm saying? People hate on us having courses. Okay. We do live videos, though, right? Are we supposed to just stay in the public? Everybody doesn't want to learn. We respect Facebook wishes. We respect that people want to make Facebook a place for jokes. We respect that people want to make Facebook a place for not business, right? You post a business post, no one likes it. You post a post about stupid shit, everyone likes it. You post a post about personal emotions, everyone's with it. You post a post about how our ancestors felt, nobody feels it. You have to look at what the connection is. We think that they got us connected to us, but they have us connected to something else, right? And after so long, you have to take responsibility of that connection because how much time did you, did you spend connecting with other things before you judge someone else? You get what I'm saying? So these things are highly important, and I think you need to question why it looks so alike thousands of years later. This is why I don't talk to colonizers unless they're willing to learn, you know? Unless they're willing to learn, colonizers have nothing to talk to me about, regardless of their complexion. Colonizers have nothing to talk to me about, I repeat, regardless of their complexion. Just as a business can deny services, I can deny people in my space also. You get my drift? This is another reason why I don't bring everything to the internet. Not, it's not meant to be. I respect my ancestors a little too much. Respect your ancestors more than you respect these people that don't even want to respect you. You get what I'm saying? Because everybody's not going to care about what you have going on or these type of things. They're going to they're gonna go off and you get what I'm saying? Like, no. You have to be aware. Like I said, this is just sharing my culture. So this is from a Moamian's uh, view. This is from a Moamian's mind, from a Moamian's vision as we link all of our cultures together. And this is just what our society chose to do. So it's not that we, of course, we have sacred names for all of these things. Now, many of you might not know about this. Uh, of course, they call this the Egyptian culture. You get what I'm saying? Uh, this is in the cult, the colonized, the culture that, that's on the land today and on our lands today. So what I want for our people to understand when looking at a lot of our posts is we're very sacred when it came to the body. Very, 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 very sacred. See, it's not just about, once again, posting these things. It's the power is in knowing these things. So if you want to learn, the best way to learn... We have a whole society written. Look up Mental Magic on Facebook. Just look up Mental Magic on Facebook. You can send us your phone number and email address. Or you can email us at mentalmagicomniverse at gmail.com. We have private courses already recorded. Or you can join us. Our next private course is on the 26th. Just as they teach what they want to teach in their society, we teach what we want to teach in ours. Just as they lie to their children, we want to practice telling our children the truth. Just as they lie to their people about history, we want to practice teaching our history to, uh, the truth about our history to our children. Just as they lie about mathematics, we want to practice teaching them the truth. That's all. Just look up Mental Magic. Like I said, if you want to learn with us, you can. We're open to that. If, if you want to learn privately by yourself, this is for all ages. As we go over all ages. I'm just going to block it. Hold on one moment. You see? There's another reason why we don't come out to the public. I don't want nobody minding any of the negativity, because that's not negativity. Those are desperate people hurting for not knowing anything, hurting because they haven't done anything, hurting, hurting because we come down here to be great. We come down here to accomplish things. We come down here to learn about these things and to go deep and beyond ourselves. The reason why they call this being Osiris is not based on him. It was based on a specific body part of the eye. Everything was encoded. Everything is encoded. Osiris. O.S. Iris. What's the most important part of your eye? One of the most important parts is called the iris. It's this color part. This is why this being was usually depicted in color. The white represented the white covering. The iris. I repeat, the white represented the white covering the iris so these were highly advanced beings are seeing themselves way deeper than what people of today are, are capable of seeing because their mind is beyond it you know they were talking about the iris and the eye because it's right there and it goes
goes down and it goes through. And you see that little piece right there? Let me show you a connection. You see that little piece right there? That's the joining of the eyes, which are the joining of the hands. Hold on, look at that little piece right there. Now let's go to this. Let's go farther down the profile. Hold on, let me show you something. Let me show you something found on both sides. On both sides of the brain. Some things are found on both sides of the brain. Most people don't know this word is a brain. You see? Most people don't know this word is a being because of the misteaching. Most people do not understand that this is a being. Hold on one moment. Let me show you another piece. Let me show you another piece. And this is for all people. This is for all cultures. This is for all ages. As we decoded the many things of us, as we were supposed to, as we've done before. So it's not like it's impossible. We've done it before. And to have the proof in stone to back us up, that's the greatest part about it. You know, to not need false documents, to not need uh, colonized documents, to not need anything from colonizers whatsoever, to eliminate them completely out of your view, to eliminate them completely out of your conversation. There you go. Block. Thank you. I needed you to come back up. Thank you. Trust me. That's all I'm going to do. Block. Hold on. I want you to picture that. Keep, keep that same image in mind for those who are paying attention. Keep that same image in mind. Keep that same imagery in mind, because I want you to see something. So you see how the minds was together. You know, it's hard for us to keep people's minds together uh, that's on the same street. You know, and these mothers, I feel like, need help in doing so. These fathers need help in doing so. Some are trying their best, but it's not a good enough education out there. It's not something thorough enough to keep them entertained is not something thorough enough and then you have those who are colonizing and making certain things look boring so then your children do pump up the evil and stupid things and really make that seem like that's something to do when uh this is the most honorable thing to do you know and this is still risking your life so yeah you could think this is gang gang also yes this is gang gang also i know a lot of gang gang members that's scared to do this scared to speak in public scared to talk to their own family scared to speak up for their own family you get what I'm saying? This is, this is, so I've been on both sides of the world. Hold on. And I know one pays all the way around. One moment. Where you at? I got a lot of posters you can see. A lot of history, a lot of things on the page. Just in case anybody ever want to learn on their own. Just in case anything ever happened to me. Take the knowledge and do what you're supposed to do with it. Be responsible with it. That's all. That's all. You'll know what to do, especially if you're a part of us. More and more, oh my how to everybody coming in. Hold on, just remember that same image. Just want to show you the same imagery, but in a bigger, oh, right here. Boom. Now, before the joining of the organizations of these worlds, you see the same symbol, but with hands on it? The hands represent the mind. I repeat, the hands represent the mind. Right brain, left brain, center brain, the joining of the two, because your minds are not as together as you think, and there's a free mind right there. You notice that looks like what they call the eye of Hru, or eye of Horus, right? So we're talking about the eye. So we're going over the eye, we're just talking about the iris, and notice there's a red background and everything with this. Keep in mind the similarities of the exact same shape. See, we joined forces a while ago, all the way across the world, while we struggle to join forces in our own neighborhoods. Yet organizations are joining forces every day. This is the same imagery that you see all the way across the land with the being that they call Asar or Osiris also called a SAR in certain communities. So as we look at this and piece this together, when you don't know what you truly are, you fall what there, 